Tips. You just threw those two out past today with the homers. And just the way you're seeing the ball to play right now, it seems like it seems like a great team card. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say all that, but just trying to stick to the approach. Two strikes have been busting me in a little bit, so that's what happened there. Not necessarily what I'm looking for, two strikes, but I was able to adjust. Second one just left us on curveball, I guess, over the plate. It felt like I've been pulling off a little bit to the pull side. We just went up there trying to hit a ball the other way, and that happened to go out. So. You've always had, had the power to all fields, but I think you, you haven't struck out yet through, through 34 plate appearances this year. Just what has kind of gone into the last couple of years of, of becoming a, a complete hitter at the plate? A lot of work, man, a lot of work. Uh, you know, I think being three years into being in college ball now, you start to get a little bit of an idea of kind of what to expect. Um, and the hope is, is that you're able to adjust, you know. So uh, it's been a, a lot of up and down, and good and bad, but uh, I would say that it's nice to go out there and just feel confident in yourself uh, and let, let your, you know, your body and, and your approach to take care of you know everything else and so um, it's kind of been the biggest adjustment I would say over the last two and a half three years. How much of a luxury is it hitting between Cam and, and Jaime? I think, um, you know you're going to get pitches with those two guys around you. That's uh it's one of the biggest luxuries you know I've had. I can't be more thankful for what they do how talented those two are. Uh, it's pretty fun to, to watch Cam hit and it's just as fun to watch Jaime hit and so being squished in the middle of those two is um, it's a blessing for sure. It's a blessing. Lynn just talked about how you stand next to him in the dugout when you're not uh, up hitting. How much has he and the coaching staff helped develop your game these past couple of years? A lot, man. They, they came in here from the get go. They just taught us a lot about baseball, a lot about college baseball, and how to approach the game, how to have you know, a solidified approach when you have the plate. I can't be thankful. I can't be more thankful for what they've done for me. Face the, the pitchers all, all fall in preseason. Just it seems like so far in the season, just the stuff that they have. Just yeah. what did you see facing those guys all, all fall in preseason? Uh, I think my the thing that I told my parents was like, man, I'm so ready to be done with this. Uh, <laughs> there's so much talent up and down that you know that pitching staff. And, and to see guys come in here and a buy into it and b and just compete and, and, and just want to be out there. It's it's fun to be behind. I'll say it definitely gets a little boring when you're striking out a bunch, but um, they're they're a talented group of guys. I've loved you know getting to know them and getting to watch them you know grow and, and continue just to go out there and dominate. It's been fun. You threw on a runner from right today, just settling in there in that, that yep. one position this year. Just how good has that been for you, and how much have you learned about kind of that right field wall and fence in, in your three years playing at Hauser? Yeah, I mean a lot. It's it's definitely you know an advantage for us. Team um, played there freshman fall, a little bit of freshman spring before they put Jaime out there, and you know always watching him and just having an idea, you know, through what we do in practice, it makes you feel pretty confident being out there. And just allowing yourself, just go out there and give everything everything you got because you know you got a back set behind you. Awesome.